It's wonderful to join you all, even remotely. As someone from your neck of the woods, I wish I could be there with you, but I'm delighted to be part of a seminar that's focused on strengthening co-ops and helping them grow their businesses. In this international year of cooperatives, I want to recognize the vibrant partnership USDA has long enjoyed with various cooperative businesses. I want to salute the vital role co-ops play in competitive agricultural markets. Whether co-op businesses, for example, take the form of mobile slaughter units, food hubs, or other models, they make it easier for consumers to buy healthy foods and develop a relationship with the farmers and ranchers who put that food on their tables. And because the cooperative business model makes it more likely for wealth to remain in local communities, these businesses are helping rural communities strengthen their economic vitality. As each of you involved in food co-ops is hearing loud and clear, consumers have generated a groundswell of interest in buying food from local producers. They want to know that their food dollar supports the local economy. The numbers tell the story of the local food trend. In 2011, more than 85% of customers polled by the National Grocers Association said they chose a grocery store based in part on whether it stocked food from producers in their region. Today, we have more than 2,000 farm to school initiatives nationwide, up from only 400 in 2004. The bottom line here is opportunity. Opportunity that creates new jobs, revenue, and economic development. And America's rural cooperatives have a major role to play in developing strong local and regional food systems. Cooperatives owned by producers from a specific region can aggregate store and market members' products to a variety of local buyers. Retail cooperatives owned by consumer members are a model that has been used to develop food hubs that aggregate local farmers' products and sell them to members and others. USDA works on many fronts to help cooperatives take advantage of these new market opportunities. Right here in Brattleboro, for example, the food co-op has grown from a tiny warehouse storefront with a volunteer staff in 1979 into a $17 million, 100 employee operation today, thanks in part to a USDA business and industry loan guarantee for $4.2 million. Last fall, I had the chance to visit the Brattleboro Food Co-op. I toured construction of the four-story building, which supports local food initiatives and promotes sustainable community principles. I viewed firsthand efforts to provide economic opportunities and direct markets for 146 local farmers and 56 local food manufacturers. This co-op now supplies local and organic food choices to its 5,000 members located throughout southeastern Vermont. I'm proud that USDA is helping vibrant businesses like this grow, develop, and succeed, and we have a lot to offer. Until recently, however, it's been difficult for the agricultural community to navigate USDA resources. That's why USDA launched the Know Your Farmer, Know Your Food initiative. Since 2009, our Know Your Farmer team has been coordinating resources across the department that support local and regional food systems. And a month ago, to help you locate and use USDA's resources, the Secretary and I launched the Know Your Farmer, Know Your Food Compass. This is a practical working document. It's an electronic document, an interactive map, and it's important to every beginning farmer and community planner. With it, we're putting a new tool in your hands. You can display the Know Your Farmer map, for example, by topic, program, or type of recipient. Through this digital guide, we're helping farmers, ranchers, businesses, and communities navigate USDA resources and programs that are useful to them and learn much, much more about what USDA is doing. Find the compass and map on the USDA website, usda.gov. It's a spectacular tool. You'll find the Brattleboro Food Co-op in the compass, for example, along with specifics on USDA programs nationwide that support local and regional food systems. My thanks again for this chance to be part of your meeting, and thanks for your contributions to the health and well-being of the nation and to the growing importance of local and regional food.